Hey guys, my name is Nicole and I'm a freelance video producer. And in this video, I'm going to show you the best and quickest way how to create captions, aka subtitles for your videos in Premiere Pro 2021. Creating subtitles or captions, if you will, takes a lot of time and my clients and everybody that I train, because I'm also a trainer for editing and filming and I am editing in Premiere Pro and my delegates are asking me all the time, like, what is the best way and the quickest way to create captions or subtitles? Just for the curiosity, uh, captions are meant for people who cannot hear, so you also put in the brackets, like, um, music playing in the background and so on. Subtitles are basically the standard of different languages and so on. So. Basically, there's no difference these days when we have social media with having like captions. They call it captions because you're listening videos on mute. That's why you also have to put in the brackets like what's going on in the background. Just to kind of like insert of how like what is the difference between subtitles and captions. And my delegates are asking me like what is the best way. So in this video, I'm going to show you and tell you. And by the way, if you have any questions, go to comment section and type it and I'm going to answer it. So don't hesitate to ask any questions. If you find this video helpful, please like it, share it and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any more of my tutorials because I have filmed so many tutorials. So now I'm in the process of editing and uploading um, mostly on Premiere Pro, but also like podcasting audio tips, audio recording, editing, and so on. So do subscribe to my channel. Thank you. For those of you asking me, is there automatic way to create captions? Well, yes and no. By the way, in Premiere Pro, it's not. There's no automatic way that you can just click transcribe and the captions will be added to your video. It doesn't exist yet. Adobe is going to introduce this later this year with a new big update. So it literally, just what I said, you're going to have a button there, transcribe your video and the subtitles will be automatically created for your video in the matter of you doing nothing. However, this is going to come later this year. If you want it beforehand, you can actually apply because now it's in beta testing, so you can still apply to have like an early version that you can actually test and give them feedback. So the link for applying for this is in the description. Check it out. The second thing before I show you how to actually create subtitles, which is very important, is make sure you have the current version of Premiere Pro. There is a difference between 2021 and 2020. If you don't know which version you have, go to Premiere about and then it's going to show you the latest version and it has to be 15 and higher and it has to be 2021. It actually says it when you open it. So check it out. If you have version 2020, I have made a different video on that. So the link is in the description as well. So if you want to know to create captions in 2020 version, because you cannot update or whatever for whatever reason, go to the description and find that link. So let's jump into it. So basically, Premiere Pro doesn't have automatic grammar spell check. So what I would suggest if you have like longer video and grammar mistakes are very important, like not to make them, then you can use Microsoft Word or Max Notes, for example, something that has grammar check. Okay, so spell check. And then you're going to type. So basically, you're going to transcribe the video into this text editor or of course you know your intern can do it or anybody if you have to do it you have to do it that's it so we're gonna do the transcription of the video into the video editor get rid of grammar mistakes spelling mistakes everything and then you're gonna copy and paste the sentences one by one into premiere pro and i'm gonna show you right now how to do this so this part is really easy okay i'm gonna show you it really really quickly so if you go, you open your Premiere Pro here on the top of Premiere Pro, 
we have workspaces so you can switch between them depending on what you're doing so if you want color correction quickly you switch to color if you want to work with effects you switch to effects if you want to edit audio you switch to audio and it's kind of like Adobe saying that this is you know quickest way to access um, everything that you have to click on window basically manually so if I want to create captions for this bit and it's basically the beginning of my podcast so I always do like the introduction for my podcast um, separately and if you by the way if you want to subscribe and watch videos for my podcast you can also subscribe to my youtube channel by the way um, so I want to create subtitles for this bit and I already in my notes, let me show you. So I did transcribe um, the first bit of that. So, hey guys, welcome to another episode of Girl with the Camera podcast, blah, blah, blah. So these are the sentences. And if you can see, like if I type something, um, it has automatic spell checks, something wrong. So um, this is perfect. And I'm going to copy my text for subtitles from here because it's now spell checked and I'm going to put this into Premiere Pro. So go to the workspace and you can see captions there. Okay, so this is the workspace we need. So I'm going to click on captions and here, this is very important, on the left you can see create new caption track, import captions from file and I'm going to talk about importing at the end. A create new caption track, this is what we're going to do now. Just make sure like you understand this is going to be the third button which is going to be on top of everything and it's going to be transcribe and that's going to be automatic transcription that I talked about before. So create new caption track. So we're going to select subtitle as a default because other standards we don't really need to take care of it and to worry about it. So I click OK. By the way, once I click um, in the workspace on the captions, then I'm going to have text here. And if you can't see this panel for whatever reason, what you have to do is to go to window and then click text and make sure it's clicked. And now you can see that. So just understand um, this is how it works. Important thing what happened here if you go to the timeline and you can see we have the whole new track which is called subtitle. So this is very different from the previous version because it allows you not to mess it up because you can lock the whole thing. You don't actually interfere because there's like a thick line in between. So there's no way you can uh, or, you know, you interfere. Um, so that's amazing. And if I want to create and import my captions, basically copy paste, then I'm just going to click this plus button as add new segment. And as you can see, it was created in my timeline as well. And let me go to my notes and let me copy the first sentence. So it's like, hey guys, welcome to another episode, blah, blah, blah. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paste it here. The cool thing and a big change from the previous 2020 version is the feature if you go to window and go to essential graphics. As you can see from here from the text of the subtitles, you cannot style it. So you cannot change the text or font or color or whatever. So you have to go to window, make sure essential graphics are checked and then you go here and click on edit. Make sure you're clicked in the timeline as well. And here, as you can see, you can style everything. So if you want this to have like a um, different color of the text, you can have that. You can have background, you can have shadow, stroke and so on. Of course, changing the font to whatever you like, align it with your branding, um, size of the font, etc, etc. So um, of course you can play with that um, here from Essential Graphics, which it makes it easier to change it and to apply it to all of them. And here is the moment where the biggest change comes. So we have created the basically one subtitle track, as you can see right here on the timeline. And I can, what I can do, I don't have to like, you can, if you want, like copy this, literally like control C, control V, and then change text here. So 
you know, when you export it, it's going to export the whole track as one SRT file. So it doesn't really matter. But kind of like copying and pasting, um, you know, like there's easier way and actually more professional and profound. So what I'm going to do is let's say I have sentences for this whole first part. I'm going to drag my subtitle track all the way. So if I wanted to subtitle the whole video, I would drag it all the way. Okay. And now, so let's say I'm just going to do this part. And yes, I know I have one sentence across the whole video right now, but what I have to do, so let me just copy this, uh, my next sentence from my notes. And now when I have the whole track done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here, split caption. And this is the way I'm going to do this throughout for the rest of the video. So I'm basically creating like the whole full length layer and then I'm just splitting it. So instead of like copy paste or whatever, like I'm splitting it and changing the text. So I've changed this text right now. If I go to my timeline, I have the first sentence and then I have the second sentence and let me copy another one, another sentence right here. Let's say like a longer one. And then let's say here I want to split and I'm going to paste this right here. So now if you can see like the first sentence, second, the third one, and what I can just do, I'm literally going to split. So when you listen to it and then when you want the next sentence, you split it and then you have the subtitles. So could it be easier? I think it's like, like quicker than the previous version 2020. Um, but anyway, I'm going to show you if you absolutely have no time and you need your subtitles to be created um, in the video actually. And of course, there's some price included. Um, so let me just share this one. So basically um, what you can see is wheatveed.io and this site allows you to basically it's like online auto subtitle editor whatever and you can actually upload your video and then it's going to create subtitles for you automatically within a couple of seconds or minutes depending on the length of the video and then you basically just download the video you can style the font you can move it around and then you download the video together with the subtitles at the end of course if you click to pricing to see the pricing you can see um, you've got um, free you've got 10 pounds per month 18 pounds per month and this is basically you know it's going to give you unlimited projects um, unlimited or limited length of the videos that you can upload and download and so on um, so basically you know you can have this either way um, and there are, of course, the websites that can create SRT file, which is caption file um, for you. And then you can import this into Premiere Pro. If you create these subtitles, you can export them to SRT um, file. And then you can also import them if you have um, if you have this file. So if I go into import right here and I'm just going to import this. And as you can see, it's going to be like imported into a project as SRT. And then what you can do is you can just drag that into your uh, caption subtitle track right here. And it has the timings the same of the video. So you can also do this. So how can you create SRT files? So basically, for example, ref.com, that's a website and it's $1.25 per minute. So you basically upload video and then it's going to generate SRT files. So the caption file together with the timings and the styling and everything. And you just import this into your Premiere Pro together with the video export. And that's it. And 99% of accuracy. It has the spell check. It has everything. Um, and 99% out of 100 it works. So um, you can check that as well and see what is helpful for you or as you can see uh, the prices as well 
or what you can do in the end wait for the update from Adobe or sign up for their early access program uh, links in the description and you can just wait until they release it or accept you into this early program so and then it's going to be automatic and you just gonna check it you know in the end but it's gonna save you a lot of headache I would say in the end so we all can't wait for this to happen if you like this video and find it helpful please do subscribe like it if you have any questions comment below ask me anything I'm gonna answer and don't miss any future tutorials so subscribe and I'll see you in the next video